Okay, John spends four thousand nine hundred sixty-eight on bags and shoes. The number of pairs of shoes he bought was two fifth the number of bags he bought. The cost of a pair of shoes was twelve dollars more than the cost of a bag. He paid one thousand five hundred and twelve more on bags than shoes. So find the cost of a bag. Okay, from this, um, the first thing probably is what student can achieve or find easily is the total cost on bags and the total cost um, that John spent on shoes, right? Because we were told that he paid one thousand five hundred and twelve more uh, on bags and shoes. So if I have one unit of shoes, I would have one unit plus one thousand five hundred and twelve uh, dollars for the cost of bags. And here, the student can work out easily what is the total cost of the shoes, which is four thousand nine hundred and sixty-eight minus one hundred uh, one thousand five hundred and twelve, and then divided by two, we we'll get one thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight. And with that, we can find the total cost of bags. So the next thing to bear in mind is that what is the total cost? So total cost is made up of two things. Total cost equals to quantity times cost. Right. So here in these two um, items, we have different quantity, we have uh, different cost. So we cannot um, just to tell, okay, what what is the difference due to? So let's say if we were to make one of the variable, one of the factor the same, just like in a science experiment, you have to keep the other variables the same and only have one variable that is different. So it's the same principle that we are working towards. We keep, um, we try to make the quantity the same. That means we make equal comparison here. That means um, based on equal quantity and then whatever the difference must be due to the price. So now, here we were told that shoes and bags, if shoes were two units, bags must be five units because it's two-fifths the number of bags. So as well, we have found earlier on, two units of shoes is 1,728. So what is one unit of shoes? We divide by 2 and get 864. Likewise, we found 5 units of bags, which cost us 3,240. So what is 1 unit of bags? Um, which divide by 5, we get 648. So these two are the difference um, that we need to take note. Then what is that? The difference between 1 unit of shoes and 1 unit of bags. Um, bear in mind, again, we were not told how many numbers are there. We don't know the actual number of bags and actual number of bags. But right now, at least we are making something that is um, the equal uh, number. But just that we don't know the number of numbers. It's alright, we just call it one unit first. Because whatever the difference we know must be due to the cost. Alright, so as what I said just now, the difference between one unit of shoes and one unit of bags must be due to the cost difference. Is entirely due to the, the cost difference of $12 for each um, bag and each pair of shoes. So again, it's 864 um, minus 648, we get 260. So this is the top cost difference of one unit of shoes and one unit of bags. And then we were told, okay, the cost of a pair of shoes was $12 more than the, the cost of a bag. So if there are two pairs of shoes and two bags, there will be $24 difference. So how many items are there in one unit? Simple number sentence, we'll get 216 divided by 12 equals to 18. So meaning to say, there are 18 items in one unit. So if you know that if there are 18 items in one unit, we're making, so what is one unit of uh, bag? We were told that um, it's a total cost of 648. So what is the cost of one bag? So we get 648 divided by 18, which get give us $36. So this is the cost of a bag. Okay? And and this um, questions um this the, this matter of doing is tied in with what students have learned in science. We have so many variables, but in, in doing as uh, an experiment, in order to pinpoint the exact effect, okay, on and uh, on one particular variable, we must keep the rest the same. So in this case, we want to isolate the factor. So we must make the unit, the quantity, the unit of uh, quantity the same so that whatever the difference must be due to the price difference. And from there, we know the number of items in one particular unit. And from there, we can work out the cost of each individual, uh, each individual items. Alright, that's the end. Thank you.